Hey guys, it's your big sis Mo here. Obviously, I, I don't know why I always say that. I'm always like, obviously, it's my channel. You know where you are. But it's your big sis Mo here. I feel like I look super duper dark in the face, but super like light on the chest. I also like push my chair down because my bun is so high that I was like, okay, let me just push my chair down so you guys can actually see my hair. Um, so today I'm coming at you with a AM to PM skincare video. I'm super excited about it because I am mildly obsessed with skincare. I don't know what it is. I just love like when new skincare comes out, I love to buy it. I love to like experiment with new skincare. It's just one of like my, it's a part of my self care. So let's jump right into our video here. Um, I'm already dressed. I'm about to actually go out to eat with one of my homegirls. So right now I'm not going to show you guys washing my face. That shit is so hard to do in a video. Like you just splash in water everywhere. We're not doing that today. So instead I'm just going to jump into my skincare. My skin is dry, um, literally and figuratively. So the first thing I usually start off with is I will use a toner. Um, this toner is from the brand called The Ordinary and it has glycolic acid in it, 7% and the pH level is 3.6. Um, the reason why I really love this brand, The Ordinary, is because their products are really beneficial and also the price point is really usually pretty cheap. So that's why I do like shopping with The Ordinary. I'm just going to show you guys what this package looks like. And um, I'm also going to list the benefits of this product right here. The reason why I don't want to say the benefits is because I get a little, like, not flustered, but I jumble my words very easily. So it's a lot easier for me to just put what the benefits are. You guys can pause the video and actually read the benefits. So I'm just going to screw the top. So it is a screw top type of thing. Um, and I'm going to use a cotton ball. Actually, I'm just going to also I throw like six cotton balls. I'm just going to put my little mirror right here so I can actually look and see what I'm doing. And I like to really saturate the cotton with my toning solution. And I just go in. Now, this uh, product does contain AHA, um, and I also listed out here what AHA stands for. Um, ideally, if, even on the bottle it says that ideally you're supposed to use this in the PM because um, AHA makes your skin more sensitive to sun, so you have a higher potential of being sunburnt, but if you are like me, as you should be doing, uh, we're also gonna be wearing sunscreen, obviously. So let's go into our next uh, skincare product and this one I am super duper excited about I hope you guys picked it up as well it is Fenty Skins uh, moisturizer and this is what that looks like and let me just say this I am a sucker for packaging I love a good package like it's just so beautiful and let me I don't think let me see if I can take it out let's see I want to pop it out for you guys so I can show you how, actually how it came. There we go. So this is actually what the cartridge looks like. Um, and when you purchase this, I'm, I think, don't quote me, and I'll put the right price if I'm incorrect. Um, when you purchase it, it actually is $35. And then once you finish it, you can buy another cartridge instead of buying the full package, and that's $30. So Rihanna, you went off with this product, honestly. I mean, you really did. Let's just pop it back. Oh. Son of a bitch. try not to do that. <laughs> so, uh, this product, what I will say, I'm just going to list some of the benefits of uh, this moisturizer and some of the um, ingredients that are in here. The only negative that I can say about this moisturizer is that the fragrance is strong. After a while, you don't smell it while it's on your face, but if you are someone, which I actually am sensitive to fragrance, I have like mildly sensitive skin um, and I am acne prone. So if you are someone who has sensitivity to fragrance, this product's probably not for you because like I said, the fragrance is strong. I mean, strong, but you don't smell it throughout the day. But once you're putting it on, it's a strong fragrance. So I'm just gonna put that that I accidentally pumped out on my face and it's also on my nail. Mm -hmm. Trying to get it from my nails. Also the negative of having long nails. So we're just gonna, there we go, pump it. This is what it looks like. It's a pretty like pink color. You will 
apply a sunscreen. I don't know if you guys ever like really read the label, but you're supposed to reapply your sunscreen every two hours um, when you're exposed to the sun. And if you're sitting in your house and your windows are open like your blinds, please understand that sun rays or UV rays is still coming through your window. Now let's move on. This is something super different for me. Um, if you watch any of my videos, you know I am not a makeup kind of girl. I don't wear makeup in my videos. I just mascara, sometimes I'll do my eyebrows. I don't wear foundation is what I'm saying. So I did pick up Fenty Beauty Ease Drop. When I saw that Rihanna was dropping, it's not a tinted moisturizer, it's a skin tint because it's not a moisturizer, so let's not get it confused. When I saw she was dropping these Ease Drops, I picked it up the same day. I was like, oh no, I need this in my life. Um, I don't wear foundation, but I do absolutely love a skin tint. I already had a um, a tinted moisturizer um, that I really, really love. So I was like, okay, we're going to use this one. My number is 17, and this is what the Ease Drop looks like. So the way that I apply it is I do use cosmetic wedges. I'm just an old lady. I really am. Like, I don't, I, I'm not, let me not say old lady because old ladies probably know how to apply foundation with an actual brush or a you know beauty blender your good sis mo curls doesn't know how to do that so i'm just gonna take the top off this is what it looks like and i'm just gonna apply it to my skin just let it like drizzle on and we are going to pat it into z skin Okay, so this is one side of my face. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna come up close and show you one side compared to the other side. So that is the side with the ease drops. This is the side without the ease drops. And honestly, I really don't think you can tell the difference. Like when I went to Sephora to pick up, um, to actually buy the ease drops, when the girl put it on, she was like, can you see it? And it legit disappeared in my skin. I was like, holy crap, I've never had a product legit disappear where I just couldn't see it. I was like, wow, I'm really impressed. So we're going to do the other side. Okay, so we've applied our ease drops now, and I think the biggest test quick story so I bought Fenty before and my shade in foundation for Fenty is 370 and the girl who was helping me gave me 400 so me and my ex we went on a date and I decided to you know be a girly girl I wanted to put on some makeup and I did and I was like how's my makeup looking he was like you look great we go outside and we're sitting down we went to get sushi and then I was like hey I'm gonna use the bathroom I went to the bathroom and my face was orange. My face was literally orange. I came back out and I was like, why would you not tell me that my face is orange? And he was like, oh my God. Like, he was like, your face was not orange when you left the house. What happened was the makeup was too dark because it was not my shade and it oxidized and my face turned orange. So the real test of foundation, if you have bought a new foundation and you're not sure if it's your color, you think it's a little too dark, Step outside, let that air hit it, and then see what happens to your face. And if that's not the way oxid, oxid, oxidize, oh my god, calm down, I'm, I'm getting too hyped. If that is not the way oxidization works, then please let me know. But I think that it's, it, once once the, hair, the air hits it, your color changes. It was so terrible, I looked the best. Okay guys, I am back. Um, I did a lot today. So I already washed my face, um, I had that, had, the Fenty Ease Drop on all day. And whenever I have something on my face all day, like I don't, I told you guys, I'm not a frequent makeup wearing person. I have foundation, but I don't wear it because I just don't know how to apply makeup. It is what it is at this point in my life. I'm not trying to figure it out. But as I told you guys before, I do use um, tinted moisturizers and I love them. I love the Ease Drops. Um, it did not oxidize on my face, so it is the right shade. <laughs> um, but by the end of the night, like, I don't know if it's just me, but I just feel like a, like my face just feels like I rolled in like dirt. Like I just feel like a dirty <laughs> Like it's, I don't know if it's just me, but it just makes me feel like my face is just covered in dirt. Like I just feel like I just did the most and my face just feels dirty as hell. So I could not wait to wash my face. Now my nighttime routine is super simple. I don't use as many products before going to bed. 
Um, and I did want to show you guys the cleanser that I'm using to wash my face. It is um, from Drunk Elephant. I've used it before and I kind of flip back and forth between if you watch my previous um, skincare routine video, then I flip back and forth between those two cleansers. Um, they're really great. So this is what that looks like. If you want to pick it up and use it, you can. Um, it's really an awesome cleanser and for five ounces, I can't remember, I can't remember how much I paid, but I'll put it on here. Um, so you guys can, you know, go ahead and buy it if you'd like to. It's a pretty good price point for the five ounces. So let's go into finishing up for the night. I'm actually going to go ahead and put my hair up. So I did wash my hair in that last video. The video that I shot before this one, which was the one me cutting my hair, I had blow dried my hair out. Um, so I hadn't washed it since then, so I finally went ahead and washed my hair, and um, now I'm just going to put it up for the night so I can prepare for bed and get to the gym in the morning on time. So I will cut my hair into a pineapple. So this is totally just for the video. I'm definitely gonna put my hair up in a bonnet, but I also really like, really like this scarf, and I got it from Target. So the first thing we are going to do, right? Um, so this toner, uh, it's called Glow 2O um, Dark Spot Toner. I am really excited about this toner because I've always, I've never heard a bad review about this toner, and people actually said it really did um, get rid of their dark spots, and. I was not always a sunscreen wearer when it came to like wearing sunscreen on my face. Um, I don't think I really have super dark spots, but as I said before, I'm obsessed with skincare and I heard really great things about this. So that's why, that's why I've really been using it. I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So one thing about this product is that it is high in AHA. And we already talked about AHA, already talked about you know the benefits of things, but this will make your face sensitive to, um, or make your skin sensitive to the sun. So they do advise to use this at night and then we wake up in the morning, go ahead and wash it off and apply your sunscreen. And it is from O. Henriksen. I, don't, I still don't know if I'm saying that right. And this is what it looks like. Focus. Focus, damn it. It will not focus for nothing. Okay. I tried. So what you're gonna do is saturate your cotton ball. And I have been using this product for I don't know how long. I think like a few weeks now. Or no, probably like, yeah, probably two weeks. Let me just grab my mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. And like I said, my nighttime routine is super simple. After I apply that toner, I go ahead and apply my moisturizer which my daytime moisturizer, which is the Fenty uh, moisturizer, a uh, Fenty, Fenty Skin moisturizer, is completely different from my nighttime moisturizer. So as I said before, Fenty Skin um, moisturizer, it makes your face feel really like shiny, but in a good way and like super, it just gives you like the super glowy look. But I don't like to, like I did wear it at night once and it made me feel, at that point I did feel a little greasy where I felt like, okay, I feel like this is like kind of getting all over my pillow. And I think that was like more of a mental thing. I'm not seeing it actually dig it all over my pillow because it didn't. Um, so I wouldn't wear it to bed. So I do have a PM moisturizer that I do after my toner. It is from CeraVe um, and it's actually, it literally says PM on the bottle. Um, it's a facial moisturizer, ultra lightweight. And it contains three essential ingredients, which are cer ceramides, niacide, niacin, oh my gosh, niacinamide, yeah, that's how you say it, <laughs> ceramides, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid, which I'm going to list all the benefits of all three of those right here. Um, super awesome to have on your skin, and this is what the moisturizer looks like. Whoops. Oh, there we go. And this moisturizer I did just pick up from Target. Super simple. And you can see how lightweight it is. All 
All right, guys, that's all I have for you guys. Um, that is my PM routine. So I've taken you guys to my AM all the way to my PM, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I really absolutely love skincare. And you know, a lot of us are like reversing the effects of poor skincare that we used to do on ourselves when we were like younger and nobody knew better. And you know, we're using things like the freaking St. Ives um, apricot scrub that was just tearing our skin up. <laughs> I know I just triggered a lot of you guys, <laughs> sorry. But that is the end of this video. If you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it. And if you use any of these products off the strength of me, please make sure you tell me. I love when you guys hop in my DMs and you're like, Mo, I went and bought, you know, this moisturizer. I went and bought this hair cream and freaking loved it. I was like, look at my babies following me. I love it. <laughs> but I will see you guys next time. Bye.